Hi, so today we shall be developing today we shall be developing developing a regression model and and from that regression model we shall develop residual and we shall check we shall check we shall check whether whether the residual is normally distributed or not right so that is our plan and here uh, a perfect regression a perfect sorry a perfect re regression model should have a residual should have a residual which is normally distributed so meaning that today we shall be developing a model and from that model we shall develop residual and we, sh we shall check whether the residual is normally distributed or not a perfect model should have a residual which is normally distributed so that is desirable that residual should be normally distributed okay what is called actually re residual residual means actually actual dependent dependent variable minus estimated estimated or predicted dependent variable that is called residual this gap between actual dependent variable suppose I take it as a y right that is the actual dependent variable minus estimated dependent variable suppose that is estimated y right and uh, and what is residual the gap between actual dependent variable and estimated dependent variable and this residual should be normally distributed and 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 when the residual is normally distributed we can accept that estimated model okay so now we have some data to estimate our model the data is here you can see from here the data y x1 x3 and x2 and here y is the dependent variable x1 x3 and x2 are independent variables so the data is here you can see the data the sample size is how much 30 the sample size is 30 in total the sample size is 30 from 1 to 30 okay okay now uh, now the the first thing I shall develop the model I shall estimate the Re regression model first okay I go to analyze then I choose this one this one means re uh, linear model I choose linear re regression model that I choose from here right linear re regression model I choose it and I put Y here 
and x1 x3 x2 all are here right so actually it is already here already here so these three vari variables are already here and y is the dependent variable okay then I check statistics right statistics okay the, from here I I select estimate and model fit so uh, this is a uh, this is already here by default it is already here so I press continue okay then I go to save right I go to save and here from here I choose these two you see here residual right there are there there are many residual are here one two three four five out of all these five I choose only two one is standard residual one is studentized residual I choose this one to save to save this residual after estimating our model right so they will save it automatically right so so here uh, okay so I press continue I press continue right I press continue then I press ok so now uh, it has been estimated you can see from here the model has been estimated and uh, and you can see from here the model estimated this is value of r square right this is model summary value of r square and this is the table of ANOVA right and this is the table of Quafen, right all are here okay now my question is that whether the residual of this particular model is normally distributed or not that we want to check today whether the residual of this model is normally distributed or not okay here you can see the value of r square is actually quite low right it is only how much okay what I do I, I make it big so that you can see better I make it big so I make it big I make it big right okay cell properties I take it uh, I make it 16 right so that I can see better okay here you can see the R square is quite low it is only 47 percent so we are not happy about the model because the model is not nicely fitted because R square is very small okay then we talk about uh, this one F statistics right we check this one ANOVA okay and Nova, we check this. Oh, okay, what I do, I make it big, right? As before, I make it big. Oh, sorry, I make it big. Cell properties, I do uh, 16. So here you can see, uh, here the F statistics is 7.688, and the significant value is 0.001 meaning that it is less than 5% meaning that F statistics is significant it means that all the independent variable such as x2 x3 and x1 jointly can influence our dependent variable which is y right so so okay the whole thing uh, I am telling again F statistics is significant 
meaning that our three independent variables such as x1, x2 and x3 are significant jointly to influence our dependent variable which is y. So we are happy about it because f statistics is significant and that is always desirable for a model. Okay. This part is done. Then we talk about here the coefficient. I make it big as before. So that uh, so that I make it big cell properties. I make it 16 right. So I do it. Okay now it is fine. It looks good. Okay here are the three three variable right and out of these three variable you, you see from here from here x1 is significant to explain the dependent variable that is y because the value is less than 5% here so so actually the value here is 0.02% which is less than uh, the, the value here is less than 5% so very small so meaning that x1 is significant to explain y but what about this one x3 the value is 86.8% which is more than 5% so x3 is not a significant variable then what about x2 x2 is significant variable because the the because the value is less than 5% so so x2 is a significant variable to explain our dependent variable which is y okay so here what is happening out of three variables right such as x1 x3 and x2 two variable are significant only one is not significant so we are happy about the model because because there is a guideline and and the question is that what is that the guideline is most of the variable should be significant to have a good estimated model so so i'm i'm telling again uh, uh, the the guideline is most of the independent variable should be significant to be a good estimated model and here out of three two variable are significant so we are happy about the model okay so here what is happening the f statistics is significant we are happy about it and that is desirable and and at the same time and uh, out of three but two are significant meaning that most of the variables are significant so we are happy about it but here is only one problem the r square is very low only 47 percent but but uh, but but as the f statistics is significant so we should not worry about r square we should not worry about r square because f statistics is significant actually r square and f statistics both talk about joint significancy so here f statistics is significant meaning that all the three variables 
jointly can influence y in the population okay here r square talk about sample right and f statistics talk about population so here the population is more important and here f statistics is significant meaning that all the three variables jointly can influence y in the population uh, i'm saying again in the population all the three variables jointly can influence y so although the r square is low so that will not affect the result that will not affect the result because r square talk about sample uh, result not the population result okay here here the r square is 47 percent and what does it mean it means that may means that 47 percent variation in y can be explained by x2 x3 and x1 jointly okay so that is the explanation of it meaning that 47 percent fluctuation of y jointly can influence by these three variable in the sample in the sample not in the population right in the sample right but here what is this f statistics so here it is significant meaning that all the three variables jointly can influence y in the population so that is more important so here f statistics is significant we are happy and two variable are significant we are happy about the model okay the last one actually our target what is our target to check whether residual of this model is normally distributed or not that we want to check actually uh, actually we want, we want to check whether the residual from this model right is normally distributed or not that uh, we shall be checking now